Okay, so I have a 07 uh, Toyota Tundra 4.7 liter. I have the dual secondary check valves, one here, one over there. Um, depending on your year, depending on if you have the V6 or if you have the 5.7 liter, your check valves could be in the back of the engine. You can only have one. They vary for every motor in the year, switches up how these, uh, how the SAIS system works, okay? This for this delete kit to work properly, uh, you do need to have operating uh, check valves, meaning that they can't be failed. I'll show you what codes that the, the, the delete kit will work for and what codes it won't. For the most part, only thing that won't work with the delete kit is if your check valves have failed, all right? Except for one thing. Unless you buy, call it, you simply buy this thing called the add-on. The add-on connects to these check valves and they delete the check valves also. So when you have this plugged up, even if these don't work, um, th this harness will still trick the computer into thinking that they're working properly, okay? All right, so let's just jump into it. We'll make this kind of fast. So to start, we need to tap into this right here. Um, this is this, we're gonna snap this down. All right, and then this connector here. This is how we're gonna tap into the mass airflow sensor. Now that we are tapped in with this kit, um, I think I might put this on the backhand side. I might actually put it back here. Hold on. So I'm gonna take this tape off and I'm going to attach it right here like this. Okay, and that is some good tape. She is not moving. Now that we have this here, we need to make our way to the starter relay and uh, get ready to connect our wires. Based on what year you have your fuel box i mean your yeah, your fuse box might look different we need to find the starter fuse and is this st fuse right here which happens to be this one we'll pull this out just like that now that this is out we have to connect it to this silver part do not connect it to the orange if you connect it to the orange you could actually uh, blow the module so you have to connect it to this silver so with the toyota symbol facing me i want to wrap it around here just like that we'll break the line and then we are going to wrap it Remember Toyota symbol facing forward. We have our electrical connection made here. And then we are going to drop her down like that. Now we have made our connection. Okay, with our multimeter, we want to make sure we have no voltage when the engine is off. Touching the ground right now, and we have no voltage. Okay move this kind of over kind of line the test lead up and I think at least on the paper we should see this shoot up and then and then stay under one volt wire all the way over there okay and connect this right here perfect I'm gonna tuck this stuff away so it's not just dangling in the engine all right so I'm feeding the wire through here it's not touching anything huh right, I might put one more up there but I got it wrapped here and then it's here so we're good here now we have block off plates that need to be installed between the uh 
the secondary check valve and the exhaust valve we don't we can't have exhaust the exhaust shooting into the check valves there's a block off plate we're going to loosen these up and then install the block off plate install that right there 10 millimeter like I did, well you didn't see me do it i was talking to somebody but 10 millimeter here and same situation here might have to get a little bit of an extension, let me see. And without completely removing it. I'm going to flathead it, get in here, and pry it down a little bit to separate the pipe from the check valve. Let's get our uh, block off valve in there, block off spacer might have to come from the backhand side because this metal shield is in the way there we, there we go and she slid in like butter so let's recap here we have the mass airflow adapter mass airflow sensor adapter here and here we have our our module back here running my purple wire across the brake line APS system down here I have my block off plates underneath of these Last thing I'm going to install technically if you wanted to stop there and you're done but I'm going to install these add-ons so that we also trick the computer into thinking that these will always work so that I don't ever have to buy new ones okay so I'm going to snap these on okay I have this I have this connected here, here. running here this adapter connected to this adapter now this is a vent hose we don't need to plug this into anything we just need to let it hang somewhere and i'm thinking like right here will probably be best Let's see if i got a screw hole for this okay now that i have the entire module set up everything plugged in i have this vent hose facing down screwed in um, i'm going to clean up my tools here Gonna clear the codes out and we're gonna fire her up. And just remember to reinstall your fuse box. Start her up. <sighs> okay, let's pray to the car gods. All right. We don't have a four low code anymore. We don't have a check engine light anymore. I think the VSC and the traction control have to do with ABS. So we're not gonna concern ourselves with that right now. Let's go look at the truck and see how she's running. Yeah, she seems to be running good, you guys. Running like a champ. Take her for a test drive. If you have any issues, I'll let you guys know. Thanks for watching. Until next time, out, bye.